right, so we are ready to do hay. <clears throat> the first thing we gotta do is run the swather through. It's basically a giant lawnmower underneath the front of this header. If I can lift it up. There are, man, it's dusty. There's all these blades. So each one of these little uh, turtle blade sets has knives on the end of it. So there's two knives to each one and these all spin. Now that'll spin and cut the hay and then it gets up into this auger which feeds it into the middle and throws it into that the big roller. Now that roller there's two of them that mesh together and it's got big spines on it and when the spines interlock that when the hay's going through and it interlocks, that breaks the hay. And when it breaks the hay, it causes it to dry a little bit quicker. There's the, the other one, so they kind of go together. But it causes the hay to dry quicker, which makes it so we can pick it up faster. So we do silage instead of what most people do. Most people bale it, but we do silage. So with silage, he cuts it in this, then I come through in the rake like the next day, and then later that afternoon, they come through with the choppers and we put it in a big bagger. So with doing it that way, we can cut our hay and have it picked up off the field in about two days. So we don't have to wait so long and risk weather raining on it and making it so we can't pick it up or so it rots or molds in the field. But this is our swather, and I'll get some video of him actually cutting in a little bit. So, yeah, we're doing hay. It's actually our second crop of hay. This here behind me is the rake. That's what I run. We have all our trucks right here. They'll be going this afternoon. Our other tractors are ready to go too, so I just got to go rake the hay. My dad's out swathing it. And uh, yeah, we'll get we'll get going on hay, and I'll uh, I'll kind of explain what how it works. So this is our hay rake, and how we do hay is first it gets swathed by the swather, and then it dries for a couple days, and then this goes out in the field. It unfolds, it rakes two rows into one, and then the choppers come through and chop it all up and spit it into the trucks. This is one of our choppers hooked to our eighty four thirty. So we have a Dion Scorpion 300 chopper and it'll go and the, the rows that I rake together will get sucked up into here. It'll pick it up, auger them in, and then they go into these big fingers back here that pull it through and there's a big, there's a whole bunch of knives in there and it chops it up into little, little teeny tiny pieces, about one inch pieces. And it's all in there and it shoots it up this spout into our wagon. Once the wagon's full, the truck will drive up next to it and the wagon will dump right into the truck. And then the truck will drive out to the dairy where it gets weighed and then goes to the bagger. We put all our hay into silage bags. So they'll dump into a bagger, which chews it up and packs it into a bag. Here comes the swather. He can cut hay at about 16 miles an hour takes about a 20 foot swath. Underneath there, there's lots of blades that cut really fast. It's like a big lawnmower. But he cuts a lot of hay really quickly. He's probably cut about 160-ish acres and has about 200 or so left to cut. So he's got a little ways to go. All right, I just got out to the field. Now I am expanding the rake get it in the right spot so we can rake the hay that side get the other side out there and then we'll get going so this is how it unfolds you push the sides out and then these just turn it's like a transformer on the farm these turn out and then I can rake two rows into one so now we're raking Takes two rows, rolls them into one. That way the choppers can go faster when they get in the field. 
I had Trevor take the, the rake for a minute so I could get some video of it. Just taking those two rows, raking them together, making one nice row. We have one of our choppers right here. The other one's on the other side of the field, but they just got out here. So they're going to start. So this is how the chopper works. The tractor pulls it and it sucks all the hay up with the tines in the front. It chops it up and then shoots it into the wagon. And then when the truck gets here, the wagon will dump into the truck. You're out here chopping hay on the wagon it is almost full it's a little hard to see in there sometimes you don't notice it's full till it starts running out the front we will stop in a second and load this truck okay the truck is right there it looks full enough for me So we just start raising the wagon, tell the truck to uh, go in or out or stop. get loaded out in the field from the choppers they'll back up to this bagger which has a bunch of slats that will feed the hay up into a big auger and then the auger packs and mushes it up and packs it into these bags so these bags here's one right here they're 12 foot diameter by 400 feet long and we will fill one of these bags every day. Every day that we do hay, we'll fill one. So let's go watch this unload. So here we have the hay dumping out of the truck onto the, the big belted chain. And it spins and comes in here. These big augers. Wouldn't want to fall in there. Now this is one that Grandpa likes to run. So here's Grandpa. He's running the bagger. He's run the bagger every year since I've been alive. So a long time. This is about our third bagger that we've had of the Versa. I think we actually had one or two before that one. Do you like running the Do you like running the bagger, Grandpa? I like running the bagger. I like to hurry it along. I'm always afraid somebody else runs it and goes fast. I'll have trouble pulling out of regulating. Someday somebody's gonna have to pick me up. <laughs> and you're 88, right? Right. 88 years old, still running the bagger. So this will give you a pretty good view. You can see down into the augers.
But not too long ago, our old bagger, which was like this one, but it was just open on top. You had to stand out in the sun. It started to get old and we decided that we'd, we'd get a new one that had an air conditioned cab so grandpa didn't have to sit out in the sun anymore. It's a bigger, it's a 10 foot instead of a 9 foot. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a, a bigger tunnel on it, has bigger bags than our old one used to have. But it just chops it up and feeds it in. Now that I'm done unloading the truck, now you can really see the augers. There's two augers in there to just grind it up. You would not want to fall in there. I traded my grandpa off so he can have a break. Now I got another couple trucks to unload, so. Thank you.